Good evening, friends. This is Joseph here. Just wanted to come forth with another video. It's a, as you can see, it's a beautiful, lovely Thursday evening here, uh, raining pretty hard, torrential downpour with some lightning. But as you know, it's definitely, lightning is a good thing, especially when we're talking about the topic of love. You know, love can be such a you know, passionate, intimate, yet romantic, but it could also be something that we find within ourselves before we can give it out to anybody else. So I wanted to, again, come forward on a video on how to love yourself no matter what you're going through in life. And in order to do that, you gotta find that love within yourself here. You have to love who you are before you can love anything or anyone else. And no matter what you maybe what you've been through, now this all different forms of experiences of what you've encountered. You may have recently experienced the loss of a loved one, or maybe you well, you got fired from a job, or maybe you just have a rough time in business as an entrepreneur, and you really don't feel like loving yourself. You don't feel the love. You don't feel like connection to the universe or the God or the nature. And it's like, what do you do when you're in that moment, in that position? First things first, what I learned is to love what you do, no matter what you're going through, is love the person that you are, and by doing so, be grateful for all that you have around you. Just look around you and look at the things inside of you rather than what's external, but be appreciative and gratitude of what you have in your life right now. Focus on what is as opposed to what isn't. And by doing so, it makes it a lot easier to love your life. Uh, if, if you have only you know, um, one vehicle, or maybe you only have, I don't know, maybe it's two sets of shoes, or all you have is a few hundred dollars put aside, or maybe it's just a couple of drinks in a, in a, in a rotisserie chicken in the fridge. No matter what you, it is, just be appreciative and be thankful. And that in itself is going to help you learn through appreciation to love who you are and love what you do, no matter what you're going through in life. Now, I can't speak for you and your experiences. I don't know exactly what you're going through. So who am I to say anything? Who am I to tell you, love what you're doing no matter what? I can't say that. The only thing I can say is, you know, what's worked for me in the sense is that I've just always been grateful and have a good attitude, good gratitude and fortitude towards the things that I know that have really helped me get to the point of place where I am today. And it's those little things. And once you stop focusing on the big picture of, oh, I gotta have all of this, I gotta have all of that. It's not even, it, it'll never work. That's not love. Love is, is being able to appreciate, being able to understand, being able to go out of your way and seek it within internally. You, you have the light within you. That light is what ignites the love. Light is love, love is light. So think about what is it in your mind, in your life, that you're experiencing that you really need to dig deep, go underneath the surfaces of your skin and find that love within you. Forgive yourself for certain things. Forgive others so that it can make it easier for you to forgive yourself. Because it starts with our immediate circumstances. Maybe it's a buried emotion we haven't dealt with in a long time, but we need to in order to seek that place of love from within so we can give it out equally or contribute it in a way where people can you know, be positively affected by the love that we have within our heart. And your heart is where it all resides because we are all connected as oneness at the end of each day. So let the love within you, let what you're going through, take the negatives, make them a positive. You know, if you might be going through a hard time, so you know what, I still love myself for who I am going through this trial and tribulation. Or maybe you don't feel so loving. What can you do to redirect that energy wave? So just know there's always a way and a method to love yourself no matter what you're going through and to love what you do. Maybe you're at a job you don't like it. Maybe that'll give you the motivation to want to go work for yourself or become an entrepreneur so you can love your life. Maybe it's you're not exactly where you want to be, but create the portrait or the imagery in your mind and see yourself. Project that out. Project that down the line and look at the moment now for what you can do so you can get to that to that appointment or that, that level of, of focus and love that you have within yourself. 
Because once you can love the person you are, it's very easy to love the people around you. Because you are full of life and love. Every person has love deep down within their heart. We all have it. We're all born with it. It's what are we doing with it? Have we discovered it? Or is it just sitting there collecting dust? So I hope this video is inspirational to you and you can learn to love the person that you are no matter what you're going through and how to love. You may be doing something for someone else or doing it for yourself. Whatever the case is, you have the ability and the opportunity within your heart, within your heart, to make things right for yourself, make things well for yourself. And just start, just a little bit of love. And the best thing I can tell you is go up to somebody in your house or in your family, or if you're alone, just pick up the phone and call. And just tell somebody that you love them. Tell them that you love them and how much they mean to you. They may not have heard those words in a long time, but your voice might just open up that closed off vessel that's had a valve sealing that vessel for so much time that your words, your influence, your heartfelt expression, your feelings can change somebody's life in their moment within an instance or a blink of an eye. And it's up to you to make it work and allow it to happen. But always know for that to be, it has to start within here, inside of you, in your own heart. And I say that with love, and I just want you all to be loved and know that I love you from one human being to another. And you know, just know that you have that light within you. So use your soul as a flashlight to illuminate the path, not only in front of your feet, but in front of somebody else's feet to help, help them see the way through your particles of love. All right. Well, I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Hope everybody's having a great, awesome day. And again, much love to you. It's Joseph Mercado here, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye-bye now.